Alright, turn this way and get settled. Back from my run, waking up late. Uh, talking to the second ex to make sure she was still alive. She is. But, uh, uh, she just is not taking the coronavirus seriously. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll start giving you examples from Trump first before I go to Nelson. <clears throat> Remember how Trump has this eternal hatred against Bezos? And so he wants Bezos shut down, his company stopped, all this stuff. And so he's going after the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, he's trying to, uh, to shut him down any way he can. Well, Bezos has his own delivery system for Amazon. He doesn't need the U.S. Postal Service. So shutting down the Postal Service helps Bezos having controversies with Bezos helps the Washington Post as they get to report on Trump trying to attack Bezos and and the tax bill why the tax bill for the rich Bezos reported no taxes remember that and then the dick pic Saudi Arabia hacked his phone stole a dick pic <laughs> and released it and trying to blackmail him again he's an elite elites are compensating for things they want to show their dick <laughs> so releasing the dick pic helped Bezos for his ego and so as you can see from that case alone Trump is helping Bezos, not hurting him. Trump is not out to get him. No matter how much Trump tweets about his hatred for Bezos, the actual facts are that Trump is helping Bezos. It's the same thing with the, the borders. Trump wanted a wall. He blamed Canada for the war in 1812 that burned down the White House. He's separating children from their parents and locking them in cages. They're still doing that, by the way. Now there's just a long waiting line as the courts are shut down on the matter. It's becoming a human rights violation further than it already was. Uh, but uh, the immigration ban, or the Muslim ban, sorry. The immigration ban too, as long as you're from, unless you're from Sweden, or, those white countries but uh, uh, this coronavirus was his great opportunity see we needed the wall built we needed to shut down the borders and so I am implementing that we shut down all ports of entry into America to protect America from this virus on that cruise ship see Chris Hayes last night thinks he's got it all figured out Sorry, Chris, you're still a little new. Trump is not concerned about coronavirus numbers, ruining his rating, because look at us now. Again, he talks the talk about, oh, we don't want coronavirus here because that'll ruin my numbers. Oh, I'm a germaphobe. I don't like viruses. And yet look at us now. Coronavirus, we're number one. And he's a germaphobe, supposedly. And yet he's going out in public, he's holding rallies, holding press conferences, he's got the whole White House sick with coronavirus, and yet he doesn't. Hmm, why is that? Oh, right, I'm the only one reporting that he has the vaccine. And oh, oh no, Bloomberg. What happens if Trump and Pence both get coronavirus? Oh no, Nancy Pelosi will have to become president. <laughs> they have the vaccine, guys. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, that's why Trump's a germaphobe. He would not want a virus to risk getting anywhere near him. 
let alone people who cough and sneeze. And so, yeah, it, this is Trump's tactic. He talks one way and does another. That's hypocrisy, if you didn't know what that is. And with Putin, oh, I'm tough on Putin. Nobody's been tougher on Putin. We're doing sanctions and all this stuff. What do you mean you did sanctions on Putin? Well, let's lift them. So the Senate lifts them. Mitt Romney comes into the Senate, lifts sanctions on the indicted Russian oligarch, lifts his businesses while he's in, under indictment. But nope, businesses, come on into America. Sanctions lifted. Thanks to Mitt Romney, Mormon from Utah. Now, was he... Was it Virginia that he was from before, or Massachusetts, or whatever governorship he had? Uh, but again, does he hate Mitt Romney? No! <laughs> so, uh, Mitt Romney is playing the game too. Oh, this coronavirus, he's incompetent to lead. Does he understand that Nancy Pelosi would lead? Of course he does. It's all part of the show. And so the deep state... Again, see, more examples. Everything Trump does, he says one thing, does another. He wants to clean up the White House and the whole government of the deep state. And what does he do? He turns it into the deep state. That's why all the swamp creatures are popping out before in the previous uh, uh, Senate and House hearings. And it's just... And opioids. See? Everything. Trump says, oh, we're going to crack down on opioids and we're going to get those big pharma companies. Well, now they're richer than ever. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for giving us more money. So again, it, you know, what Trump says and what he does are not the same. Three of these things are not like the others. And so now we can talk about Nelson. Nelson is old school Republican. They aren't showy. They aren't showmen. They aren't TV celebrities. They aren't reality TV hosts. They're old school, which means they give off an appearance of respect and authority, but the laws they pass the way they run their own families, it's abuse. It is taking away of rights, liberties, properties. And I know that from first-hand experience with my own family. With my own family. And the Lord has shown me how I can. So, yeah. I, families cannot be together forever. It's couples. That's the one thing that pisses me off with this new change since the family proclamation really pushed it over the edge. Oh, I want to be with my family forever. Yeah, what about your spouse? Yeah, okay, whatever. They'll be there as token. <laughs> then what are you doing in the eternities? You're just going to hang out with your family? Which family? Your children or your parents? And what about them? What family are they going to be hanging out with? You or their children or parents? Which way are you going in the family line? And how far do we have to go? Oh, it's everybody. Oh, everybody. And how is that going to work? Is it going to be an infinite-sized planet? Dum, 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 dum. Alright, so... Nelson, we've already had controversies in the church, thanks to Brigham Young, and Brigham Young is another example. He claimed everything was Joseph Smith's idea, was from Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith did this, Joseph Smith did that in secret, and, and we're going to implement it now out in the open that we've fled America. So now we can do everything that we wanted to do, but couldn't because of the evil America that we need to one day rise up and destroy. So 
much for Joseph Smith saying, no, we need to save America because there's a threat to America that wants to destroy it. And so, you know, yeah, Brigham Young had a brewery, he grew tobacco, had the brothels, instituted polygamy, still had brothels, had the temple changed so that naked women would frolic around in the garden scene and they would have speaking roles though not like the current one before Nelson took over we gave women their freedom freedom from clothes burn the clothes <laughs> I never understood the use of that symbol I can sort of understand, but uh, it's not a good one to use, women. I'm sorry, it's just not. The bra is to help you and support you and uplift you. Yes, it may be constraining and restrictive, but it's for your good in the long run. And yes, we finally got somebody who invented a wireless bra. <laughs> but, <laughs> but to use that as your symbol of burning... I mean, I'll, I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, but seriously, you're using that as your symbol? So, anyway, hi, uh, Nelson. Uh, he comes in. We have an established tradition in the church. Things are the way they are, and the elderly especially want things to remain the same. They don't like change. All change, I don't know. <laughs> Things are working just fine the way they are as people are oppressed because I'm special and elite and getting privileges. So, yes, I want those privileges to remain. Which people are not understanding with coronavirus, by the way. Oh, I got sneeze. <coughs> Ivy. Okay. With coronavirus, people are getting desperate to go back to their lifestyles the way it was before coronavirus. And I'm sorry, guys, it's not going to happen. I know they're pushing sports now. Utah is even trying to exploit their kids under coronavirus to get them back into summer sports. It's not good. It's not safe. Even for kids, there's a brand new strain. It's mutated. So that it would target kids. I mean, this has all the hallmarks of a designer drug, a designer virus, so that it goes and kills everything biological. I mean, this isn't a normal SARS or whatever previous uh, coronavirus. I mean, this this is a global killer. And how did it get? released and why are all leaders of nations letting their people die you know you say again leaders are saying one thing but yet their actions show another you know with coronavirus oh we were going to stop it and then they don't stop it they don't shut down things they don't keep people home they don't provide food for them while they stay at home they don't want to give welfare. They want them back to work so they don't have to pay welfare. Today's numbers are coming out. How many more millions? Get your bingo cards out. And so, with the established tradition in the church, Nelson, first day in office, takes away the high priest group. Demotes them down into the elders quorum. Only those who are leaders of the church, bishop, stake president, high council, and uh, the general authorities. They're the only ones who get to be high priests now. <coughs> and so, uh, elders are out of luck. Did you Mormons understand and know that sec section 76 of the Doctrine and Covenants requires you to be a high priest. Now this is not complicated. Who goes into the Holy of Holies? The high priest. Is there only one high priest? No. 
there are lots of high priests because there are lots of temples for example in Egypt you need a high priest for every one of those you need a high priesthood for those who go in to the Holy of Holies to present the offerings to dress the idol god you know the regular high priests who do the barbecuing those are Aaronic priesthood lesser priesthood Levites they had they had a higher and a low lesser priesthood in Egypt did you know that? they don't tell you that because they don't understand that that's what it was the Amun priesthood was the higher priesthood but there were other priests who performed the menial labor functions just like we do for the the Aaronic priesthood in the Mormon church and uh and so, yes, when Akhenaten comes in, he does away with the Amun priesthood and establishes his Aten priesthood. Still has the lesser worker drones, but has a, 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 an Aten priesthood instead. Uh, and so, yes, read section 84 of your Doctrine and Covenants, Mormons. <coughs> And so Nelson takes it away. He then takes away the missionary pro service program. Or not the missionary service, the home teaching. Takes away home teaching. No more home teaching. You don't have to report numbers. You don't have to visit anybody. It's just a ministering thing to those who need it. And it's intended to be temporary, depending on the needs of the individual in the ward. No more home teaching. Gee, wouldn't it be nice to have home teaching still in place to communicate with the bishop who in the ward is suffering under coronavirus? Huh. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if we... Beach Boys. And so, uh, then he goes and declares a temple in Russia. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints just announced that they're working with the enemy of America and have made a deal with them. Where is that temple, by the way? Hmm. They've done a lot for Putin. They failed to get Bears Ears uranium for him. But, you know, Putin's now sending in John Huntsman to run for governor this year. I wonder if he'll win. I wonder if all of a sudden he'll say, Hey, uranium miners, you want that uranium again? It's still declassified from being a uh, national park. Come on in. And then the temple. He changed the temple. And again, yes, I was mocking it earlier. Because women now have a, Eve has a larger speaking part. Oh boy, all women are now being treated equally in the church, huh women? You get to wear slacks now. Oh boy, all the church is, is uh, being lenient. I guess God is, is being merciful to you women. <laughs> Did you pay attention to the law of chastity? Do you understand the horrors that men in the church went through, women too, when Brigham Young established polygamy, and then had to establish brothels. Why? Because of the consequences of polygamy. Men didn't have women to have sex with, because Brigham Young took them all. And so we had to have brothels. Orrin Porter Rockwell was the first brothel down at the point of the mountain. But then Brigham Young was not happy. He wanted more women to have sex with. He was not satisfied. I guess the death of his first wife, way back yonder, was really hurting him and he needed more loving. So he did the Regent Street brothel. 
called Commerce Street as a joke. And he frequented that all the time because apparently his wives wanted to divorce him. And so one of those wives is a Bigelow, and then we have Mayor Bigelow in West Valley. And so now I understand why he did what he did to me. Do what you did when you did what you did to me. I should have that song. I wonder who it's by. I'll have to check YouTube first to make sure that I yeah, know the title. But, uh... It's just... I mean, what does it take, Mormons? Nelson brought out an idol god. He put Jesus on top of the church. The church, he said, was the cornerstone. And then he goes and puts Jesus on top of the cornerstone? What's put on top of the cornerstone? What you build. He built Jesus Christ. And Mormons are like, Oh, this is awesome. The church is so true. Oh. Okay. Got to get that for us. <gasps> Got to get that for me. Jackson? Yeah, that, that could be. Uh, I'm not going to be able to play it, so I'm going to have to end now. <coughs> and check out that thing for me. Uh, but, uh, I, I mean, guys, come on. Seriously, what does it take, Mormons? Yes, he talks things, says Jesus in the middle of those things that he talks of. But what are the consequences of what he's doing? He's a medical doctor. He knows that when a virus starts, you got to shut everything down. Did Nelson do that? No! He did measured responses, slowly letting it build to then justify the shutting down. Even with the temple, he allowed the temples to continue when he shut down the churches. Then he said, okay, well, we're going to close temples for regular sessions, but we'll still have people come and get married. Then he said, nope, we're shutting them down. Those who have appointments to get married during this time already have an opportunity to have them done before Wednesday, and so there were some rush weddings. Now it's closed. I was trying to tell that to my second ex last night. Because she has a cousin who's supposedly getting married in the temple in June. No. <laughs> it's closed. No, they're open for those who want to have weddings. No, Nelson closed it. It's on the website of the updates for coronavirus. And she's like, Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to pray about it. No, it's on the website. He shut it down. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, people are thinking, oh, June, it'll be gone. No, it's not gone. It's still increasing. That's the problem. Trump said, oh, it'll be gone by summer. No, it's not. So... I mean, get a clue, people. They're trying to murder you.